So you would think this sign was a pretty straightforward sign, no trespassing. You would think that it would mean just stay off my property. Now that's what the dictionary says it is, but boy, I tell you, there are so many different meanings to that sign. You really got to understand all the meanings if you don't want anybody on your property because that sign doesn't keep everybody off your property. A while back, I made a video. It's back in June. This is November now. So back in June, I made a video and I was talking about that sign and some of the issues I was having. And if you would, I'd appreciate it if you'd watch that video. I'll put a link to the video. It'll pop right up on the screen here, right in front of my face somewhere. At the end of this video, if you watch it, it tells the algorithm that you like this video and that you're interested in that video. But I go into quite a bit of detail in that video. Now, it's an older video, so it was before I got this new camera, so it's gonna look a little bouncy and ugly, but it's got good information in it. As you know, I've had a lot of problems with law enforcement and people coming on the property. This property was abandoned for a long, long time. So I would imagine a lot of people got in the habit of being able to just come over here and do whatever they want, ride their ATVs or little lawnmowers or take shortcuts or whatever to get through here. And you can tell because there's all kinds of tracks in the yard. I mean, they're starting to clear up. The chickens have knocked some of them down, but tire tracks from ATVs. You, you kind of got to get the neighborhood used to the idea that somebody owns this and is act actively living on it and doesn't want anybody here. Now, the other aspect of this is you will know, if you watch any of my older videos, that I've had a lot of problems with law enforcement on this property also. And I don't know if it's a problem. I don't want to call it a problem. It's probably not a problem. It's just I've gotten a lot of law enforcement or government agencies on this property for one reason or another. That's because I run a YouTube channel. I have subscribers or haters or whatever you want to call them that want me in trouble and they want me off YouTube. And so they do all kinds of crazy things that are actually in violation of the law. They can't do the things they do. So they'll call the police or code enforcement or whatever. So I get visits from the sheriff regularly. I've gotten uh, a visit from code enforcement. Of course, I've done nothing wrong. And when I talk about those in the videos, a lot of people say, hey, don't let anybody on your property. Don't let anybody on your property uh, the, without a warrant. They gotta have a warrant. And I, I typically agree with that. It has paid off in the long run for me to cooperate with the law enforcement because I run a YouTube channel. Instead of being standoffish and making them go through the hoops to get in a warrant, I was, had thought about this because I used to be a nomad, so we would travel, and I know that no, nomads can delay the postings of their videos like I did. If you're at a place for two weeks, then you have two weeks worth of videos, and then after you leave, you start posting those videos. Well, now that we're stationary, there's no way to delay the videos. I mean, people are gonna figure it out, and people have. People have come to this property. Some of the subscribers have actually come to this property. I've had two occasions of that, and neither one of them actually trespassed. One stayed up on the road, and the other one came up to the truck of, uh, on, onto the property. And I don't really consider that trespassing, although I probably would have still been held liable if they had gotten hurt. So when the sheriff comes and code enforcement, I let them on the property because I want to be friends with them so they know that I have nothing to hide. Again, if you want to check that out, all those videos, I think I got a video where I said interactions with law enforcement or something in my playlist. So you go to my channel, you go to the playlist and you can look at all those videos. That way I don't have to rehash every one of them. It has paid off in the long run because I've become kind of friends with the sheriff. He'll come out and say, okay, you've gotten another call from a subscriber from Tennessee or California or you know wherever. He's actually prosecuted or arrested or whatever you want to call it, several of these complainers for filing false complaints. So it's paid off. But like I said, typically I would agree with you. If an officer came to my door and knocked on the door, even if it's the sheriff, I would not answer the door. I would say, do you have a warrant? Because once you open the door, that gives them the ability to determine if they have probable cause to come in. With today's society, I'm not going to give anybody any opportunities to think, okay, I got probable cause because Carolyn made a sniffle noise and they think she's crying. Now, the thing is, is every time the sheriff or law enforcement come to this property, I've been outside. I've been able to see them. And my house is close enough that 
if they were to come onto the property, I can see them. I got enough windows, it's easy to see. I always run outside. Now, when I first moved here, all the townspeople were always on this property. The church came over, they wanted to give us food, and people were introducing themselves. People were coming over telling me how to build the tiny house, telling me where to dump the sewage, and, and just on and on and on and on. And finally, I put up a no trespassing sign, which they paid off big. It, all, it has completely stopped, almost completely stopped, I guess the best way to put it. Now, people are going to think I'm a jerk, and I guess you could say I am a jerk. I'm not a people person. I've said that in many videos in the last four or five years, however long I've been on YouTube. I, I want to be left alone. I don't agree with a lot of things that people set, tell me, and the thing is, is people always want to come in and tell you how to run your life, and I'm, I'm quite happy running it the way I'm running it. So... I don't want a lot of interaction. I, and that's a whole different story. So when people do decide to come on the property, I'm pretty aggressive about getting them off the property. When we were down here on the camp, in, living in the camper while we were building a tiny house, people would walk all the way down onto the property. I mean, they come around the cedar tree here and I see them and I run outside and I'd stop them. I mean, I had people telling me, oh, I got some siding for sale if you want some siding. And, and I just couldn't have it because I don't have insurance. I did that strategically, and I'll talk about that in a second. So as soon as I put up the no trespassing sign, that has completely stopped. In the last video that I was telling you about that I'd like for you to click at the end of this video, I had a lady come up to the house, and she wanted to talk to Carolyn. She knocked on the door. She said, can I speak to your wife? And I said, no, you're trespassing. Well, that really upset a lot of people on, on YouTube that I should have at least found out what she wanted. Maybe she needed help. And I'm thinking, no, because as soon as I would have given her permission to be on the property, now I'm responsible for her. So I said, no. Now, if she needed help, it would seem to me that she would say, instead of saying, I need to talk to your wife, say, I need help. Even if she didn't want to talk to a man, I guess, you know, I don't know. She could have said, can you tell your wife I need help? So once I told her she's trespassing, then I lost all liability to her. Because the law says that people can come onto your property and go straight to your door. Until you tell them that they're trespassing, even though there's a sign saying they're trespassing, until you, you tell them they do not have permission to be here, they actually have permission to be here. Now, there are some exceptions to that. If you have a gate and a fence, they cannot cross the gate. They cannot come to your door. I don't understand why the no trespassing sign doesn't do the same. But some judge in Arizona has kind of settled this dispute that the gate is a no trespassing zone, but the sign has some leniency. Now, another thing I've discovered since the June video is if you go around painting all your trees purple, that also tells people they can't cross. So that's as good as a gate. Again, that makes no sense. That's quite ugly in my mind. Why can't I have just a no trespassing sign? And do the same thing but it's, it's just not the same thing as, as a gate and the purple paint on your tree fedex ups i've got them where they will honk and i will run up to the road and i'll get my packages i don't want them coming over here and tripping and hurting themselves i just looked it up again today and if they do get hurt on your property they can sue you like i said i don't have insurance and so if somebody were to get on my property and hurt themselves if they did not have my permission to be on my property then they are liable for their injury. Like the lady that came over and wanted to talk to Carolyn, I was liable for her injuries if she were to get injured until I said, get off my property, and then she was liable. So I still got to be responsible enough to keep them, keep the, you know, the bridge in this safe working order so they can cross over and the concrete blocks are safe. Got to keep all that safe so they don't get hurt. But I don't have insurance because there's no reason to have insurance other than people getting hurt. If the house burns down, it's $5,000. If in the long run, it's cheaper for me to replace the house myself than it is to have insurance. If the house never burns down and I pay all the insurance, then I've lost all that money. If the house does burn down in five years, well, then I, I've saved money because I'm paying more in the insurance than what I would have gained from rebuilding the house on my own. So it doesn't make sense to have insurance. It's a bad investment. Insurance is just bad investment. Now, if somebody trespasses, let's say you got a kid that runs through your yard every day, go to school and come back. You know he does it. He is trespassing, but you never say anything to him. You say, hey, 
you can't do that. You never call the police. You never, never do anything. You just let him go back and forth. And then one day he gets hurt. Well, you can't go to court and say, well, he was trespassing. Because legally, you knew he was doing it, so they gave him implied permission to be on your property because you knew he was doing it. To bring me back to the point of the lady who came on the porch wanted to talk to Carolyn. So many people were upset that I didn't let her talk to Carolyn because there may have been something wrong with her. Well, just the other day, there was a lady down on the road here, and I could see her, and she had her flashers on and everything. I didn't pay any attention to her. I mean, it was just a car on the road. And she walked up, and I was already in the house by the time she walked up. And she started yelling from the street, is anybody here? Of course, I jumped right outside and I said, yeah, what's up? And I walked to her. She stayed at the road. She didn't come onto the property because she saw the no trespassing sign. She says, I've got a flat tire. Can you help me out? It is possible for people to ask for help without knocking on your door and, and trespassing, risking their injuries, risking my uh, financial savings and all that. The problem I have with people coming on the property and I have to take responsibility for them is if I don't tell them to go off the property and they do get hurt, are they gonna be polite to me? That was the big complaint was you're not being polite. If they get hurt, they're not gonna be polite. They're gonna hire a lawyer and it's gonna be ruthless. So me being a jerk and keeping people off my property protects me and them. And if you would, I'd appreciate it if you'd watch that video. I'll put a link to the video. It'll pop right up on the screen here, right in front of my face somewhere. So I hope I can inspire you to protect yourself so you can live your dream. Thanks for watching.